Well, just days after a shooting leaves a child dead and several others wounded in the West End, shots were fired at a city park and once again, children were involved. Yeah, so it happened Monday at Ziegler Park and thankfully no one was hit that time. Investigative reporter Jatera McGee is live for us at the Youth Center with the new details and another disturbing trend involving our young people. Hi, Jatera. Hi there, Mike and Cherie. You know, police are taking guns off of children every day. Some of those kids are carrying guns because they think they need protection. Others are stealing the guns, often out of cars. And now investigators believe some kids are modifying those stolen guns to make them shoot faster. Somebody's calling in saying there were juveniles shooting in a parking lot. Shots fired at Ziegler Park Monday evening. Multiple kids running through the alley towards 13th. Witnesses reported groups of kids shooting at each other. No one was hit. A 16-year-old boy is now under arrest, accused of shooting at someone in a vehicle. According to juvenile court records, the teen had a gun Monday and Wednesday evening after CPD says he ran from officers, didn't comply, was tased, and had a loaded gun under his shirt. You're in shock. This is not, these aren't video games. Councilman Scotty Johnson was at Friday's West End shooting that left six shot, five of them kids, and claimed an 11 year old boy's life. When you see the veteran officers in complete shock, you know that this is getting to everybody. Police confiscate guns from kids daily. These photos obtained by WLWT show five guns taken from juveniles in just the last two days. More concerning are the ones that sound like this. According to CPD, almost half of guns used in crime in the city were stolen out of cars. Police are seeing more illegally modified guns, and sources tell me juveniles have figured out how to do it. You're talking about firing 22 rounds in less than five seconds. A Glock switch turns a gun from this to fully automatic in seconds. These guns are being fired by people who have never been trained to fire a gun. It's illegal, but the device can be made with a 3D printer. It will fire a ton of bullets within a very short period of time. And that 16 year old appeared in court today where bond was terminated. He's now being held here at the youth center until his next hearing. Reporting live in Mount Auburn tonight, Jatera McGee, WNWT News 5.